Hi everybody, Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware here with the Lenovo ThinkPad Tablet 2. This is a new 10-inch Windows 8 Pro slate by Lenovo, driven by an Intel dual-core Atom processor and seen here with its optional Bluetooth keyboard. As you can see, it just slides right in there. Uh, and again, that is Bluetooth connected. The tablet itself with 64 gig of storage retails for 729. The Bluetooth keyboard is 120, bringing the total package as you see here to 849. With it, you get this AC adapter, sync and charge cable, of course. And uh, this really nice leather portfolio comes with it as well, allows you to carry the tablet and keyboard together. All right, so again, the ThinkPad Tablet 2 is based on Intel's Atom Z2760. That's a dual core chip clocked at 1.8 gigahertz with that one meg of L2 cache. And it does support Intel hyper-threading for four logical threads of processing resources available to the OS, which, by the way, is Windows 8 Professional 32-bit. And what you're looking at here is a 10.1-inch IPS display with a native resolution of 1366 by 768. The uh, display is nice. It's a glossy panel, so you do get a little bit of glare from time to time for sure, but good brightness, good contrast, good color saturation. In general, we were, we're very pleased with this display. It is a um, capacitive touch display, obviously, for the uh, Windows 8 Metro interface or modern UI as they call it. Uh, it's driven by a PowerVR SGX545 graphics core in the Intel Atom SoC. Also on board, you get 64 gig of storage, flash memory uh, via an eMMC card, and two gig of 800 megahertz low power DDR2 system memory. All right, so again, the keyboard is Bluetooth enabled, and so Bluetooth 4 is on board the tablet as well as 802.11bgn compatible wireless. Um, but as you can see, connecting the two, obviously because it's wireless and Bluetooth, you just drop it into the slot. There's no actual connector and there's no hinge mechanism in the cradle. You just drop it in this slot, it's propped up at this angle, and that's really the only viewing angle you get when you connect the two together. So you're going to have to be happy with this viewing angle. There's no adjustment like you would get with a connected hinged setup. So that's the downside of that. The, the plus side is that this is actually a fairly comfortable keyboard. Uh, Lenovo makes some of the best keyboards available in the notebook space. And uh, this tablet, even though it's a small chiclet style keyboard, you know, netbook style keyboard, this tablet uh, combination or this optional keyboard is uh, no exception. Actually, we were quite pleased with the uh, typing experience here. Um, and, you know, very comfortable, uh, tactile, uh, good travel in the keycaps. And this little nub right here, I'm not sure if you can see the curve cursor, it's actually not your typical track point. It's a capacitive touch track point. So you can actually just slide your finger over the top of that little red nub, the, th the, the think point or the, the track point as we have known it for over the years. Um, is a little bit different here. It's a, like a capacitive track point mouse. So good little feature there to have. But again, you're going to have to live with that, um, the way the, the keyboard uh, just sort of props up the tablet as you see there. And taking a quick walk around the tablet here on the bottom edge, you've got your sync port as well as an HDMI port. And if you look real closely right there is a very tiny pinhole for a reset. On the right edge, you've got your screen orientation lock button as well as a volume rocker and a combination headphone microphone jack. Top edge, you've got a power button as well as a SIM card and micro SD card slot underneath that little rubberized cover there. Over here is where your pen resides for the uh, digitizer. Combination digitizer pen is built into this model of the tablet. That is optional. Uh, and over here is a USB 2 port underneath this cover and a power port right there for charging. So that's the ports and whatnot. Looking around the front side here, you've got a two megapixel front facing camera. And of course, this is the Windows Start button. Uh, allows you to switch between applications and return back to the, uh, to the start screen. On the back, you've got an eight megapixel rear facing camera with flash, shoots up to 1080p HD video, as well as uh, eight megapixel still shots. Bottom here, very closely, if you look on the back, on the bottom, you've got a half watt speaker port and another half watt speaker port right there as well. So, one watt total stereo sound uh, coming off this tablet. And it's actually, 
fairly good. You know, again, for a tablet experience, uh, you're not going to get a ton of bass, but, uh, but not bad uh, dual speakers. And the tablet is made of this rubberized construction, uh, sort of standard ThinkPad flare. Um, really nice, actually. Feels very good in the hand. It does attract a little bit of fingerprints, but not as bad as some tablets. Certainly not as bad as the glossy tablets uh, we've seen on the market. Uh, but really, very well built, solid. Uh, weighs about 1.3 pounds, but feels great in the hand. Uh, just, you know, a uh, good, comfortable tablet to use. All right, as I mentioned, I would demo the digitizer and pen combination for you. But before we do that, just to show you a little bit of application switching with the tablet. As you can see, very fluid switching between apps. But let's pull up Sketch, which is part of the Evernote suite that is uh, bundled on this tablet. And as you can see, if I put my pen close to the tablet, but not touching it, as you can see, there's a little black dot. I'm not, I'm not sure it might be too small for the camera right now, but it's tracking the location of my pen. And Sketch is designed to uh, remember things, to jot notes and, uh, and whatnot. So um, we'll just go ahead and show you a few things, drawing some arrows here. Let's do something freeform with the marker. And so as you can see, pretty responsive. And um, I somehow just got rid of what I was writing there. Uh, and, you know, a good bit of extra utility to go with the tablet. And Lenovo targets this tablet for the enterprise as well. And so this certainly does add some uh, additional welcomed functionality with that uh, digitizer and pen. Incidentally, um, you also have some apps on board called QuickSnip. Uh, which is a Lenovo custom app, and um, what that allows you to do with the, uh, the button on the pen is just uh, go ahead and do screen grabs just by pressing the button on the, on the digitizer pen uh, and, and some other functionalities as well for, for screen capture. So some pretty good extra utilities bundled on the ThinkPad Tablet 2 by Lenovo. And let's take a quick look at boot time for the tablet. I'll go ahead and hit the power button there. And as you can see, there's the splash screen, Lenovo splash screen. And very quickly, we will be on the Windows Start screen. And so about 10 or 12 seconds. So pretty quick boot times. Uh, and again, courtesy of that onboard 64 gig SSD. All right, and let's finish up a little bit of uh, HD video here. We're in the uh, Xbox Video Store, Spotlight Store. We'll fire up our Marvel Avengers as an HD trailer. Sorry about the screen glare there, but as you can see, some uh, good performance. No drop frames, very smooth, very fluid. And if you could hear it, if I could mic it well for you, that speakers are actually fairly decent. So this has been a quick take look at the Lenovo ThinkPad Tablet 2. Make sure you stop by our site for the full review with all the benchmark details. I'm Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware. Thanks for stopping by.